Goodbye, Spencer Martin. Now I know this video is one of the ones that doesn't really need to be made, like a backup backup goalie got claimed off of waivers, is that really that big of a deal, Lego? Well, it is to me. I'm a Canucks fan, primary Canucks fan. So this guy, Spencer Martin, getting claimed off of waivers by the Columbus Blue Jackets is a pretty big deal, and it's one that I feel like a lot of Canucks fans kind of expected. You see, the Vancouver Canucks earlier this summer acquired Casey DeSmith from the Montreal Canadiens. And this was seen as a pretty good move because the Canucks were bolstering their goaltending depth. Thatcher Demko is supposed to be the number one, DeSmith is going to be the number two, and in Casey DeSmith, you have yourselves a guy who has been a main player in the past. Now, where does Spencer Martin fit into all this? Well, Martin was the backup for the team last year, and he was put in a pretty precarious spot, mostly because when he was initially acquired by the Vancouver Canucks from the Tampa Bay Lightning in 21-22, he was the main AHL Abbey guy before getting called up to the NHL and having just a stellar six-game stint to end off 21-22. Spencer Martin, when he was acquired by Vancouver, was a six games played, 174 goals against goalie, and a 950 save percentage guy. Spencer Martin, two seasons ago, was incredible, and because of this showcase towards the end of 22, a lot of Canucks fans heading into 22-23 thought, yeah, this guy is gonna be our backup, he might even be good enough to take over the starter's role which he was forced to do because in 22-23, Thatcher Demko became injured, and this is where Martin had to take over the reins. Now, the problem here is that Spencer Martin had a 29-game sample with the Vancouver Canucks, had an 8-7-1 safe percentage, and nearly a 4 goals against average. The team in front of him? Not great defensively. Martin himself, not as good as he was in the six-game sample from last season, which is understandable. Spencer Martin has been a career AHL, ECHL even, goaltender who had worked his way up in a Vancouver Canucks spot that was kind of necessary to be filled because he had injuries to their main guys. Martin was not great last season, and I think a lot of the confidence the Canucks fanbase had in him from that six-game sample in 21-22 very quickly waned when we realized, oh yeah, this guy is not as good as we thought he would be. So with the Smith being acquired and being placed onto the main roster, Martin was placed on the waivers yesterday, and a lot of Canucks fans are saying, okay, this is going to be the end. Like, Tampa Bay just lost Vasilevsky for two months. They're probably going to claim Spencer Martin and put him in a pretty significant position, especially considering that Martin was acquired from Tampa Bay in the first place. For free, too. For future considerations. For nothing. So, maybe things come full circle and it's Tampa Bay that gives Martin another chance because they have an opening spot in their goaltending situation. But no, it's a team much earlier in the waiver wire order that puts a claim in first and is able to get Martin for themselves. The Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, for the Jackets, they've got a few interesting things going on with their goaltending. Obviously, Elvis Merzlikens was not great last season. I think everybody can acknowledge that. But you also got Daniil Tarasov in this Blue Jacket system too, that in which is injured. He had a knee thing going on with him, so there's going to be a problem there. There was an opening for the taking here, and Spencer Martin is hopefully going to fill this out heading into next season, the Columbus Blue Jackets have an opportunity to actually allow him to be used. And unfortunately, that same opportunity was not really present with the Vancouver Canucks. With Demko and DeSmith in the realms, and you still have Arthur Seelovs developing down there in Abbotsford. The few spots that exist within the Canucks organization, goaltending-wise, are already filled. And you could say that Martin was kind of the odd guy out, because DeSmith is a pretty big upgrade over Martin. So for Columbus fans, what exactly are y'all getting here? Well, Spencer Martin is a pretty good goaltender sometimes. I mean, the stint that he had at the end of 21-22, obviously that's the gold standard. You want your guys to be able to post up 950 save percentages every time they play. It's not going to happen, but that's the ideal standard. In this sample, at the end of 21-22, Spencer Martin was so good positionally, and I feel like the team in front of him definitely played a part in his success. 
either that or it was also the adrenaline of finally being an NHL guy and being placed in a spot where you could show off your worth. This is where Martin came to play, and he was positionally sound, he was athletic, he was making the saves. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. The guy was a madman in his Vancouver sample in 21-22. It's just the next season, you know, when Thatcher Demko went out and the rest of the Canucks decor completely crapped the bed, it was the Bruce Boudreaux starting era where everything was bad and everything went to crap. Spencer Martin's numbers went down as well, and you could start to see a lot of Canucks fans think that he wasn't as reliable as he had been in the sample earlier. So, no disrespect, of course, to Spencer Martin. He had a great sort of mini moment of fame here in Vancouver, but heading over to Columbus, this is going to be a rejuvenation opportunity for Martin. And for any Canucks fan that is sulking about losing this guy on waivers for free, it's fine. I mean, the Canucks got him for free in the first place, so what goes around comes around, right? He was an AHL, ECHL guy before playing in the NHL for 21-22, posting up those crazy good numbers. I remember making all the videos, too, when the Canucks were winning those games and Martin was doing his thing and only allowing a goal a game or a goal against a game and he had the shootout game against Florida I believe it was like Martin was all right and even in the playoffs in Abbotsford he was pretty good too 929 save percentage in four games played with Abby this previous season 192 goals against as well his AHL numbers have always been pretty okay actually no I take that back in 2020 2021 they were pretty Meh. But recently, he's been good. He's been an AHL star, NHL potential fringe guy. So, Columbus, you're getting a guy that I think has more to prove at this level than what he has shown off in the past 12 months. So, just treat him with respect, I guess. This is going to be interesting because Columbus has a better decor, you could debate, than the Vancouver Canucks. Just look at the names that Columbus has on their blue line. Of course, you have the... Zach Wierenski's, you have Ivan Provorov now, Damon Saverson is a guy here, Andrew Peak, Eric Branson, Adam Boquist, Jake Bean, I still am a believer in. This decor is arguably better than the Vancouver decor, so if you can just give Martin the support he needs, this guy could probably show up and play. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Canucks fan and or a Columbus Blue Jackets fan. What are your thoughts on Spencer Martin getting claimed by CBJ on waivers? If you're a Canucks fan, what are your thoughts on the Canucks losing out on him and the way his career went towards the end of his Vancouver tenure? It was only two years that he was in the system, but it feels like a lot longer than that. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed. Vrishash Rolls 99. And... Bye.